finger. It's one crisis. We have an ecological crisis, we have an energy crisis, we have a social crisis, we have a financial crisis. And this crisis didn't happen just randomly. They are the product of a, a, a dominant economic system called capitalism. And as Eric said, uh, Einstein many years ago said, you cannot solve the problems that you created with the same mentality that created them. So we need a new paradigm if we're going to save this planet. Okay, and I feel that that paradigm in agriculture is agroecology because it doesn't follow the, the same logic that created the problems. It, it builds upon the traditional knowledge, the millinery knowledge that peasants have developed and indigenous peoples have developed and elements of modern science, even including genetics and creating a dialogue of wisdoms. But we are not here the ones that know best. This, that's the arrogance of science. You know, you are the poor peasants, you are the poor people in Africa, we're going to bring you the solution. First of all, who invited us there? I haven't been invited. Did you get a letter from them inviting you? No. You know? Uh, why is it, for example, that we don't have the Latin American network to save the California Redwoods? <laughs> you know, why is it, in Latin America we don't have centers to study the United States? You know, why is it that this country was also always to go there and help, supposedly, or intervene, or manipulate, or control, or take over. Huh? Is that genetic? I don't know. But, you know, I believe that right now, in the South, despite what we think here, there is a, a genuine movement of people, the peasants, and the people, that want to go back to the land, and they want to farm. And Cuba is one example, as Eric was saying. They will give you 15 hectares of land if you want to farm that, that land. They will give it to you. In this country, the average age of a farmer is 64 years old. And the major problem for access to land of the American Farmers Association, if you look at their website, is price of land. So in order to solve the problem, you're not going to sell it through the market. You have to solve it with a new paradigm. That new paradigm is food sovereignty. Food sovereignty with agroecology also talks about land reform. We have to take away the land from those big landowners and give it to the people that want to farm. Okay? If you're a young person here, you never farm in this country, in California. You'll never farm because you're not able to, able to afford the land. Okay? And then we have to produce a food movement, as, 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 as Eric was saying, but a food movement that is going to be for everybody. Look at what ha what's happened with organic farming in this country, you know, or, or in, this, in this state, you know. 3% of the largest organic farmers control 65% of the market. You know, there has been concentration, they're following, they're multiplicating the same model. See, we have to get out of that if, we're going to, if we want to reach the poor people and we want to reach the hungry people. And that's why, why I see the role that we have to have together with what Eric was saying, and also Eric with many other things that you said. That we need to move forward here to, with a new paradigm that is going to go to the root causes of the problem, but it's not going to use the same rationale that created the problem to, to solve it. We need to come up with a new solution. And I think what best place, like a university, where we can discuss openly these issues and come up you know, with ideas. But now we have to come from the academia to the action. We have to come down from here to the ivory tower and translate our talk into action. Thank you.